Jameis Winston or Bo Nix rest of season. Now, you know, for those that are listening to those that watch the show, uh, you know, guys, you know, I'm a Broncos fan. I'm actually wearing a Broncos hat right now. So, you know, maybe there's some bias and Anthony has no dog in this fight, but uh, Jameis Winston right now, uh, quarterback 10 this week, 23.6 fantasy points. Bo Nix coming off probably his best week uh, of his career. Uh, quarterback two, 29.8 fantasy points. Um, I'm going to make the case here for Bo Nix, you know, 28 for 34, 284 passing yards, uh, four touchdowns, three passing, one rushing. Uh, you know, like I said, QB two on the week, and he's actually been quarterback three since week five, trailing just Lamar Jackson and Baker Mayfield. And I mean, if you watch the game, there was a lot of meat left on the bone. Wide receivers dropped pass. I mean, Sutton dropped like a, a 30 yard pass. Jordan, a uh, little Jordan Humphreys dropped the pass that he probably would have scored a touchdown. It would have been a 35 yarder. Troy Franklin dropped the big pass that went through his hands twice for 30 plus yards. Like there were plays to be made. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, Bo Nix, the, the one thing that was encouraging is didn't really run the ball this week. I mean, five carries, four yards. Now he scored one time, but he showed us this week that like, he doesn't have to run to be successful in fantasy football. I mean, 25, 24, 15, 32. Those are his last four weeks. I think he's a really good play against Baltimore this week. He's 31st against quarterbacks, and they're giving up really big plays. They're top five when it comes to 20-yard passing plays, which is explosive plays. That's when you see that explosive stat, like that's what it's considered 20 plus or more passing yards or 20 plus yards uh through the air. Um, they, they give up a lot of those plays, and Bo Nix is top. 10 right now in air yards Tw top 10 check down Bo Nix the guy that everybody said couldn't throw down the field is now top 10 in air yards per throw um so yeah I mean I prefer Nix rest of the season I can understand the Winston uh argument I don't uh, the one thing that worries me is Winston could lose a target like Ninjoku and if Nick Chubb does end up playing well maybe maybe that lowers possibly the production um but I expect both of these guys to be good for fantasy. They're both going to have their weeks. They're probably going to be matchup dependent, most likely. But I don't know. I, I lean Knicks. I'm biased. But looking at the schedule, he gets Atlanta. He gets Las Vegas. He gets the Colts. He gets the Chargers. And then he gets the Bengals in the playoffs, those three. So decent schedule. But what about you? Am I homering right now? Well, Is it close? Right. I mean, you know I was in on Knicks all offseason. I, I like Knicks. I didn't yes. expect what we're seeing now, but I, I think Bo Nix is going to develop into a nice quarterback. But I'm going to start with Russell Wilson here. Uh, Russell Wilson or, or Winston? Who, wait, are we doing Russell? Or it was it was Winston. For some reason, it, I thought we were going, okay. I mean, you could throw Russ in there and, and add him in. We could do a, a three-way. No, um, I, no, let, no let, let, let's let's go to Winston. For some reason, I thought we were in the dock in the show sheet. I saw a Russell Wilson. That's my dyslexia, seeing what I want to see. Yeah, good. But okay, good. so let's start with, with Winston. Tougher schedule down the stretch. We just talked about, I, I think Tillman's going to be a thing. I, I, I like the weapons. When it comes to experience, I guess you can throw Russell Wilson here. When it comes to weapons, when it comes to experience, you would think Russell Wilson and Jameis Winston, right? Because these are all technically waiver wire quarterbacks we're talking yeah. about. I, I, I think they're better than Bo Nix. Sure. I think there's also going to be volatility with these veteran quarterbacks, especially Jameis Winston, because he's going to make mistakes. And if he sure. makes mistakes, and you're in a league that deducts for interceptions then that puts you at a, at a liability at times, right? Because he lost a fumble against Baltimore. We know Jameis Winston in his best fantasy year. I think he almost threw as many interceptions as touchdowns that year against Tampa. Uh, so we have to factor that into the mix. Let's go to Bo Nix because Bo Nix is, is clearly my answer here. The guy I want rest of season. Uh, you said since week five, he was what quarterback? He's quarterback three in points since week five. Yeah. Well, even since week three, he's a QB seven. Yeah. Bo Nix has been productive. He's been a QB nine or better in three out of the past four games. He brings a high rushing floor. 
Uh, he, he also scores rushing touchdowns. But what we saw finally, I think you alluded to this this week, he threw for a season high, obviously career high, 284 yards and three touchdowns. This is a player who didn't throw a touchdown in the first three games of his career. He has now thrown for eight touchdowns uh, in five games since week four. There is no, no, when we look at Winston, we look at Pickens, right? Like there are players, okay, like we have to get Pickens the ball. We need to get, um, you know, Njoku involved. We need to get these guys involved. I don't think Bo Nix plays with that mentality because their they're, they're best receiver is Cortland Sutton. He went without a target last week for the yeah. first time in his career. I don't, I don't think Bo Nix cares. He's just going to give the ball to the open guy. We're seeing, you know, Troy Franklin might get involved. We've seen Sutton get involved last week. We, you know, we've seen Vele get involved. Crow the tight end get involved two weeks ago. Troutman. It, Nate it just Atkins, doesn't seem Nate, to matter. Nate Atkins, Kroll, and Troutman. Right. I think it, it, just, it just doesn't seem to matter to Bo Nix. Yeah. Uh, and, and, when, and, and I also, I'm going to give the coaching edge to obviously Sean Payne, what we know what he can do to develop quarterbacks. And, and Bo Nix – um, he's gone two games now without a turnover. He has not lost a fumble all year. He actually has not put the ball on the ground all year. Yeah. So like, I, I think rest of season fantasy wise, I, I want, I don't think it's close. I want Bo Nix. Yeah. He's also the least sacked quarterback in the NFL. Yeah. He's not taking sacks. I, I do want a victory lap slightly because two weeks ago I did post before the saints game. And I said, you know, he's quarterback 13 on the season. Why are we not talking about Bo Nix when it comes to picking him up possibly? And a lot of people said, because he's not a good quarterback. And a lot of people shit on me saying, well, he hasn't had his bye week yet. And so because of that, it's inflated all these things, all these things. And I mean, his schedule is, is, is very favorable. I mean, the playoffs, he gets the Colts and he gets Cincinnati 21 and 29. Now he gets the chargers. Um, but Against the Chargers, he scored 24 points earlier on this year. So, I mean, I, I'm not worried about that. And Jameis Winston, for what it's worth, he plays Pittsburgh, he plays Denver, he plays Pittsburgh again. He gets Miami, who's number one against the quarterback, and he still plays Kansas City. Now, he gets Cincinnati uh, in the playoffs, but, I mean, he gets Miami in the championship. Now, I don't know if you're starting Jameis Winston in the championship, uh, but, I mean, weirder things are happening. But I would feel more comfortable probably starting Knicks because the upside is there with the legs. And he showed us that he doesn't need to do it with his legs to produce for fantasy for us. He did rush one in. Um, but I, so. I, I think how I would assess these three quarterbacks is where Russell Wilson and Jameis Winston, they're streamers. If you're asking yeah. me, hey, I want, I, I, I'm a Patrick Mahomes owner. I don't trust him. Who's the quarterback that I want to add and have on my team? It's Bo Nix. Those other two are streamers. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a fair point as well. Um, definitely a fair point. Um, so, I mean, we have some questions in here. I don't know who 